Hey there, hi, my name is Nadia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am welcoming you to come along as I get ready and transform myself for a glam 1920s holiday work party. Let's go. Here we are. I am all moisturized and dewy for the gods, so let's get into some hair and makeup now. I didn't think I would be doing a get ready with me style video, but Mama and Papa Rambles highly requested this one. They said the people would love it. I don't know, people watching, <laughs> do you love it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just gonna start setting up and get into it because I don't have a lot of time before my plus one arrives. So just to start off, I've got my laptop here and I have saved a couple of 1920s style hair tutorials. Apparently having this long lustrous hair was just not it in the 1920s. So we're gonna have to do away with that. And I think I'm gonna go for a faux bob moment. Wish me luck with that because there is a whole lot of hair. I don't know if I'll be able to hold it. I do have a lot of bobby pins. You wanna little beauty guru that. Beautiful. <laughs> Discount code below. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna get into that. Okay, I'm gonna be trying the Great Gatsby Faux Bob 1920s inspired hair video by Alana Asheril. Sorry if I'm not saying that correctly. Um, I'll link it down below. So cute. Okay, we're going with a deeper side part. Let's see here. So, if you're new to this channel, hello. Um, please subscribe if you like this face and wanna hear more rambling. <laughs> but I do want to talk about those that are a little bit more familiar with my channel. Yeah, I've recently seen sufficient growth for my little baby channel. It's, I would wanna say, like tri at least tripled in size and is still growing little by little. I've gotten comments from people in countries around Europe, the States, India. I even got a Spanish comment from a lovely viewer that I conversed with via uh, Google Translate because here in Canada, we were taught French instead of Spanish, but yeah, <laughs> bless Google Translate for the support. And yeah, it's been really lovely and so pleasantly surprising and just super heartwarming to have new viewers pop in. I do believe that a lot of you found my video through a comment that Dana had made from the channel Dana's Hair. I've been a viewer and supporter of hers for quite a while and I had no idea that she was watching me. So it was incredibly sweet for her to say she appreciated my videos. And I think my recent growth has really been helped and prompted by her comments. So if in some way you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm going to link her below. She is so sweet and talented. She's got a lot of really fun hair videos. So big shout out to her channel. And for all of y'all newbies, I do have a lot of fun video ideas for 2022. But if you have some topics that you'd like to see touched on, please just drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, just say hi. Cause you know, seeing the numbers grow is exciting, but what really gets me is when I see a hello or, you know, something from my video or about yourself. I just, I love the community on YouTube. I have since I was a wee one watching this platform. So yeah, that being said, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. My little fringe is, I think, kind of tucked into this deep side part, which is a good start, I think. But what I think will be more helpful for me to do is perhaps to get a time lapse going and just to really focus and get this hair and makeup done so y'all can see the transformation that you came here for. <laughs> Christmas. 
right, so this is the result so far. It ended up differently than the tutorial video because my hair couldn't hold anything. So my bestie came and just put this massive clip in it. And I think we're gonna go with this. I'm also going to add some berets because I don't think the S wave will work otherwise. And I'm just gonna get started on my makeup. It's gonna be a lot more simple than the hair. I'm gonna start off with the NYX Pore Filler Primer just to have a solid base on. Do not take any of this as tutorial because I'm not a professional whatsoever. I've just watched enough beauty gurus in my time. I'll then go in with the Clinique Fit. It's like a CC cream type of situation. My skin typically runs quite dry, so I don't like to use anything heavy or matte because it will dry my skin right out. I spray it with, I mean, it's the all-nighter spray bottle, but I just put water in there because it ran out years ago. And I don't want to go all the way to the sink to wet my fake beauty blender. Do you want to come? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to come say hi? This is my plus hi. one. I'm sure you'll see her plenty more on this channel. <laughs> yeah, Corrine was my date to my work Christmas party two years back in 2019. And we had such a blast that now that we're having a holiday party again in 2021, I knew that she had to be my date again. The people requested me back. <laughs> the people demanded you. <laughs> the people have spoken. Literally want me back. Yeah. She'll be around for my next video that I'm filming, so stay tuned. On film, this doesn't look like much, but this is more than enough in person. I might add just a little bit more to the under eyes. Um, and then I'm going to go in just a little spot of concealer. These little acne babies have flattened out quite nicely, um, so they should be easy to cover. Using the Tarte cre uh, Creaseless Concealer. There was a time where I was just spending a whole lot of money on whatever I could find in Sephora, and this was from those days, so I'm not really fancy about my makeup, but I'm happy I invested. Okay, and now I'm just gonna bake with the little Kat Von D. All right, so like I said, I'm going for a simple. I'm gonna get these brows filled in. I absolutely love this NYX Lift and Snatch mm -hmm. brow pen. It's everything. Kareen can also attest. You'll it's the best. You can use it as eyeliner. In fact, that's what it looks best as. It's like a very light brown, so it gives you just the right amount of eyeliner but also is amazing at drawing brows. Which you'll see right now. Although I might use a little bit on my lids as a liner too. So we're gonna go in. It leaves it looking quite natural when you're done. See, look at that eyebrow. I mean, it's no Nikki Tutorials brow, but it's looking a whole lot better. I know in the 1920s they didn't have bold brows, but we're gonna modernize just a little for the sake of the times, for cause the day folk. I will be professional for the sake of this video. I never do this, but I have Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I don't know if it does anything, <laughs> and clearly it's old. We went for it. Okay, that's my eyeshadow ready. I might just contour and blush and highlight, and then I will also contour, blush, and highlight. My bestie over there. Do it for the people in the back. <laughs> I got you people in the back. That was the Hula Bronzer, by the way. I've got this Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff. <laughs> Put a little on my nose for a flushed look. And then we're going over it with some of the Fenty highlighter. Okay, so I did that. Now I'm gonna do that for my bestie. And then we're gonna go in with, do you want a little bit of blush? Do you think blush would look good? Yeah, but not my cloud paint one. I'm gonna go in with a more mauve. It's a little tart. 
I don't know if you can see it. In parte. Ooh, how fitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Should I'm going to highlight you for the gods with the Fenty Beauty. Nobody's following this and nobody should. There's so many better makeup things to follow than this. <laughs> I don't think we're even following We're this. not following ourselves. Okay, take a look in the mirror. I look perfect. You are perfect, baby. Now get your ass okay. up. I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'm gonna use that NYX brow tint pen again because I don't have any brow eyeliner, but it works as eyeliner, so. I shouldn't be doing a wing that's a bit more 20s. We're not historically accurate over here, but it's fine. We, we wanna do our modern rendition on the 1920s anyways. This is quite small for what I usually do. And now we get the lashes on. I think I'm gonna go for these dramatic Sephora collection, Demi, Quill, Lux, I'm not sure. We'll get some duo glue on them, get them tacky, and then put them on. So Corrine's gonna help me with that, and then I'm gonna put on lipstick, and then I guess all that's left is to show you the after. So I'll catch you then. Shh.